Today on the channel, Turtle Anxiety defeated again with Chrome Dome. Welcome everyone, Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel for another cartoon NECA Ninja Turtle unboxing and review with Chrome Dome, the colossal Chrome Dome, hot off the pegs. Turtle Anxiety defeated once again. Get your very own Turtle Anxiety t-shirt. Support the channel, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So Colossal Chrome Dome, we know about last week or so, this went up for pre-order on the NECA website. That's great for people, another option to get it. But I said, NECA, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. So I did not fall for it. I didn't fall for the old bait and switch because a mere three days later, that old outlaw, that old KG outlaw, Waylon Jennings, he moseyed on into a Target store, found a bunch of Chrome Domes, hooked me up, got me one of these. So away we go. Turtle Anxiety defeated again. If I would have pre-ordered from NECA, it would have charged me another $14 or so uh, in shipping, which makes our already expensive figure that much more expensive. Plus, you got to wait even longer. So I'm very excited I did not pre-order this. Now, I get pre-ordering is good for some of you guys that might not have a target near you or, you know, the gas and the travel and the scalpers in your area, that kind of stuff. But you guys know from my Friday figure hunting videos, a cheap plug there, that I'm in a lot of stores every single week. So I can usually find everything I need. I enjoy being in the stores. I have to be in the stores for other reasons as well. So I'm around. I'm around. So there you go. But we're going to do it like we do all the other reviews on the channel here. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to box it. We're going to talk about it. We'll see where it goes from there. So let's look at the packaging first. The Colossal Chrome Dome, as he's known. The biggest figure yet in the NECA cartoon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle line. And we will compare him to a turtle and we'll compare him to Krang uh, prior to this figure was the biggest figure in the line. So we'll compare it for a little height differences there. But beautiful packaging here. This is a single boxed figure, I guess we'll call it. Uh, traditionally, most of the figures are two packs. This one being so big, he definitely deserves his own package here. Beautiful animation, colorings, all that kind of stuff going on. We love that a whole lot. Turtles down here, Chrome Dome up top, the uh, Turtles logo, which we know and love. I uh, love the purpleness and the green, the neon green. It really catches your eye together. Really brings you back to the 80s and 90s and the Turtles nostalgia. So beautiful packaging on this one. It looks like the old VHS tape. We've seen this before with the Mondo Geckos, the Muckmans, the Krangs, the Chrome Domes. You guys get the point at this point. But there it is. You got the little volume six down below, the Colossal Chrome Dome, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You got the Filmation. Is it Filmation? NECA logo up there. There it is, Nickelodeon at the top as well. Same thing on both sides. Same thing up there. You got some credits and UPCs down below here. And then the beauty, like all NECA figures, they got the little uh, Velcro. You can open it up. Beautiful glamour shot of the figure here. You guys got to have that glamour shot of the figure. And then you got the big figure in the pack with all the accessories, all that kind of fun stuff. Like that a lot. And then you get to the back of the package. There it is. You got some beautiful artwork right there. You got Casey Jones ready to square up with old Chrome Dome looming in the background. We got the blurb as well. So let's read that blurb. Let's see what's going on with the massive Chrome Dome. A robotic warrior of superior intelligence, Chrome Dome was created to command the foot soldiers during construction of the Technodrome Mark II. Oh, there's those old marks again. Deep Purple Mark 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, with its impenetrable adamantium skin. Oh, adamantium. A lot like Wolverine. Or uh, Cyber and all the other ones out there. Shredder designed the colossal Chrome Dome to be utterly invincible. Unless the turtles can discover Chrome Dome's vulnerable control panel, they are no match for this mighty mechanical menace. And Chrome Dome is a lot like a lot of the uh, B and C level, D level characters, even in the turtle universe. I watched the cartoons as a kid. As a small kid, I watched all of them. I've never watched them back. I have the DVD set. One of these days, I'm going to find some time. I'm going to go through and watch every single episode. I can't wait to flush out because I, I forgot all about Chrome Dome. Then when they announced this figure, I said, oh, yeah, I forgot all about him. And that's what we see a lot with this turtle stuff. It really brings you back and jogs your memory of figures and uh, characters you have not seen or thought of in many, many years. So I can't wait to watch the episodes with Chrome Dome. So there it is. I'm going to take it off camera to unbox Chrome Dome. He's got a million twist ties. You guys know how it goes. So let me unbox him and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. We've got Chrome Dome out of the package and a lot of twist ties. You guys know with these NECA figures, but I will show the inside here. 
Beautiful inside, you can kind of see it there. We got a little bit of a computer laboratory, all that. A beautiful background diorama. I don't know, if I was smarter, I'd probably keep these and put these in some kind of a diorama. I do save all my NECA boxes. I'm not sure exactly why, especially turtle ones that are really starting to build up. I don't know if I should sell them, throw them away, or keep them. They're, you know, they just take a lot of storage. Luckily, I got two big attics in my house, but it kind of sucks going up the attic and putting them all up there. And I'm sure eventually I'm just going to, oh, I'm going to throw all these away. And why did I do all that work? But you guys know how it goes. But let's jump into Chrome Dome here. Now, like a lot of turtle figures, a lot of NECA figures, we get tons of extra hands. Look at all those extra hands in the plastic prison. I'll put those on him for the glamour shots, but we don't need to really talk about them. We've seen hands multiple times. We got fisted hands, we got open hands, we've got karate chop hands. We got all the hands you could ever want. Other accessories, not a ton of accessories with this figure. He is a big figure, as you guys know. Maybe he doesn't need as many accessories, but he does have two big katana blades. Uh, different sizes, one's a little longer than the other. Very kind of mechanical looking. They don't look like a traditional katana blade. They almost look like they're computer designed. I don't know if that makes sense or what I'm trying to convey, uh, but nice detail on these. So you got two katana blades for him to use to wield as may. And then you got a very robotic, futuristic gun blaster uh, for him. A lot of good details with the white and black on this one as well. Uh, but very cool. Chrome Dome needs a big gun. He needs a couple of weapons. I wish he had a holster to hold these weapons. And he does. Look at that. So there you go. I'm glad to see that. Then you got a computer as well. So another computer in the lineup here. We got one, I believe, with Baxter Stockman as well. But we got another computer right here. So we got a lot of good accessories here. And I was saying, I was hoping he had a place to store them. I mean, he does. Right on the side of his belt. He's got a spot to hold his uh, weapons. And does this hold this? Let's see if that's the case. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, look at that. So kudos, NECA team here. You can store all your weapons on Chrome Dome's belt. Both uh, blades fit in there, and then you can store the, the gun right on the side. It has a peg hole. You can put that right in there. So we like that a ton. That is pretty solid, if you ask me. Now, Chrome Dome, a big figure, tight joints. Double jointed elbows on him as well. Now, you always got to be careful with your NECA figures. You guys know this. Uh, Long-time NECA collectors, there's been a lot of broken figures right out of the package. You should probably heat your joints up. I'm just a crazy kamikaze guy out there. I go just straight in. I usually can feel if I should force it or not, but uh, this is live. This is right out of the package, first impressions. I know a lot of reviewers unbox stuff. They play with it. They have it for hours. I like to give my first impressions out of the package. Uh, but with that comes some challenges. You might break your figure. Or you never, uh, never know how that might go, especially Star Wars unboxings. How many figures have we broke on those? Uh, but he does have tight joints like usual with NECA doesn't seem to be as breakable feeling at least on the arm joints for this one as we feel with some of the turtle figures some of the other turtle figures out there uh, but beautiful coloring on this one uh, that belt all around the waist is loose so you can't be removed but it does move around at a pretty good clip now i do see some paint issues we'll talk to that in a second but i do love the coloring on this one the black and the white and then a little bit of the gray and then some of the blue and red really does catch your eye this is a very eye appealing figure if you ask me just a beautiful look. And I've always thought of Chrome Dome when I'd see him all those years ago. That was Predator Mania back then for little Kyle. I loved Predator when I was a little kid. Yeah, it was rated R, but my dad said, you know, we got to watch Predator. And of course we watch Predator. I can watch Predator every day. I'm not a movie guy, as you guys know, but Predator, I'll watch that all day long. Uh, but his head always reminded me of Predator, and it all comes back to me uh, seeing him here now. So I don't know. Maybe that's like a robotic Predator, I guess, is what he reminds me of. But the painting is very good on this figure. However, we got some major, major scuffage on the side here. It's where the paint's been rubbed out. I don't know if that's the belt in shipping. Uh, this belt does flex around a little bit, as you can see here. It must have scuffed on there somewhere in the packaging. Uh, that is unfortunate. And then it goes all the way around. So I would say try to keep that as low as you possibly can. Uh, because, yeah, it will scuff you up pretty good. So I do got some major scuffing there. You can kind of hide it, but once you see it, you can't unsee it. It's one of those things. So it is noticeable. But very good paint apps here. He's got his kind of wings going on in the back. A little bit of scuffs on the white. It's very difficult to get white paint and then put gray and black around it. Uh, but you do got some scuffage there. A little scuff right on his uh, front chest piece as well. 
Besides that, everything else looks pretty clean. He does have toe articulation on him. Do we get a lot of toe articulation with the neck? That's more of a McFarlane type thing, but he does have toe articulation. We've got double jointed knees as well. Yes, double jointed knees, double jointed elbows. You've got the diaphragm. You've got the legs that go up and down, side to side, all that kind of stuff. The head moves side to side. Removable hands, of course. Bicep swivel, shoulders up and down, usual shoulder rotation. Now, you're not going to be able to rotate him all the way around with his arms because of these wings that are uh, hard. They're not removable. They are part of uh, the figure. So that is something to note. He does have big, strong feet. Yeah, he's got big, strong feet. Yeah, he does. Like a young Shaquille O'Neal. Um, but he has big feet, and he stands very well. You don't need a stand for him necessarily because he can stand just fine on his own. I love the hands that are on him here. They're very maniacal, menacing hands, very heavy metal hands. Like those guys that sit in that front row that I hate, of course, but they go there and they just do this, you know, in the front row. No, you do this all day. I'm, I'm up for that. I'm not do, do, do one of those guys. No. But Chrome Dome apparently is. He's got that. He's got that kind of diabolical hand going on. Like he needs to be holding the skull in his hand or something. But you can choose your own adventure with these hands. You can have him doing karate chops. You can have him holding weapons. You can have him doing this kind of stuff. You really is choose your own adventure. So I do like that a whole lot. And like I said, this is a big figure. We say it all the time on the channel. It's a broken record at this point. But I love big figures. Absolutely love big figures. I really do like this a whole lot. I just don't like this belt. It keeps moving around, keeps scuffing on me. That's a little annoying, but let's see. Can I get him to stand okay? I thought he stood okay, but this right leg almost seems like it's a little shorter than the left. I don't know. So he does stand a little wonky. He's got a little bit of a wonkiness to him. Just a little bit, just a little bit. But let's compare him here. Let's bust out the Android Krang. Now, Krang, a big figure. We all have this figure, hopefully. A very cool one. I should say Chrome Dome, when he does hit, man, he hits big. He hits in 7 to 12 per store, depending on your store. So play the long game. Don't give in to scalpers on this one quite yet. I think we might see another Mondo Gecko Muckman situation where you see a lot of these out there. So I wanted to make sure I said that. But look at him next to Krang. Look at that height difference. Now, Krang is a big monster figure. Chrome Dome just towers over him. So I like that a whole lot. This is going to be a tough one, though. Depending on your shelf size for your display of these figures, he might not fit in your shelf size. Uh, so that is something to watch out for. And then I did grab one of the, the first turtle I saw. Uh, I believe this is the original Michelangelo. As you guys remember, they changed the coloring on these a little bit. Maybe it's the other one. I can't remember. Uh, but you can get a little height comparison here. Look at that. So Chrome Dome is a giant. He just towers over everybody. I like it a lot. I like it. A big figure. Sign me up all day long. Really cool paint applications here. A little paint quality issues. We get that every once in a while with NECA. It's uh, to be known. But with all the hands, the accessories, the weapons, the computer, uh, just big figure, I, I think this is a must-have. Yes, once again, I wouldn't call this a D-level character, but maybe C, maybe C-plus level character. Uh, it's definitely, you, you have to have Krang, you have to have Shredder, you have to have Foot Soldiers, Bebop, Rocksteady, and then you get down to the Chrome Domes. That's kind of how I view it. But this is a tough one. I think when you guys see this one in person, it'll be a tough one to pass up on. That's my... Uh, that's my turtle thoughts of the day, I guess I'd say. So I do like this one. I do approve of this one. I am happy I got this one. Thanks to that old outlaw, Waylon Jennings, helping me out with a little of that turtle anxiety. So there it is. What say you guys? Do you have any thoughts of Chrome Dome? Are you like me that forgot all about him until you saw this figure come up and said, oh, wait a minute, I remember him. Uh, maybe you're in that same boat like I was. Uh, but you let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram. And of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Get your very own Turtle Anxiety t-shirt. Support the channel. So for the massive Chrome Dome, Michelangelo, Krang, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.